Welcome to Electron Online. Here we have a problem where we're shooting a projectile with a horizontal initial velocity of 2 meters per second over a parabolic slope. So this is a little bit different, but the approach is going to be exactly the same. We're trying to find the distance x and the distance y at the location where it's going to land on the slope. And the approach will be the same as before. We're going to find an equation that tries to find time in the air using the y direction first. We'll come up with an equation trying to find time in the air using the x direction. And then finally realizing that we'll have three variables, x, y, and t, we'll need some relationship between x and y. And we're going to do that using the equation of the parabola in order to solve this problem. So it's solved the same way as the previous problem, or perhaps the, pre the previous four problems, but you can see that with things a little bit different like this, there's just a small variation of the same thing. So let's go ahead and try to solve it and see what we get. First of all, let's finish what we started over there with the equation of the parabola. A general equation of a parabola where the vertex is at the origin is going to be y equals ax squared. But if it's moved to the right or to the left, then we have to add or subtract the constant term inside the parentheses there. In this case, we're moving the vertex two units, or in this case, two meters to the right, which means we're going to have the general equation of y equals a times x minus two quantity squared. Now we realize here that since this incline here is one meter high at this location, we can solve then for a, for the constant a, by realizing that when x is equal to zero, y is equal to 1. Plugging that into our equation here, we can see that 1 equals a times 0 minus 2 squared, or 1 equals, that would be 4 times a, and then finally a is equal to 1 fourth, which means that the relationship between x and y can be used here by saying that y is equal to 1 quarter times x minus 2 quantity squared. And if you want to multiply that out, you can say that y is equal to 1 quarter times x squared minus 4x plus 4, or y equals 1 quarter x squared minus x plus 1. So there's a relationship between x and y because our slope has a parabolic shape to it. Now let's go ahead and solve the problem. First, the equation for time in the air in the y direction, we get y equals y sub naught plus v sub naught in the y direction times time plus one half g t squared. Let's plug in what we know. The final height is y. We don't know what that is. That will be this distance right here. So the final height right here would be y. The initial height is equal to one. Initial velocity in the y direction is zero. And here we get minus 4.9 t squared, or simplified, we have y equals 1 minus 4.9 t squared. So there's the equation that relates y, the final place where it lands, to time. Now let's do the same for the x direction. Of course, in the x direction, we're not going to have an x up down term because we start at x equals 0. And we don't have an acceleration term because there's no forces in the horizontal direction. So using the x direction, time in the air, we simply get x equals v initial in the x direction times time. Plug in what we know, well we have an unknown distance x when we land, so this distance here will be the unknown distance x equals initial velocity of 2 meters per second times time. All right, what do we do next? What we can do is we can replace this y by this y right here in terms of x, and then we can solve this equation, t equals x divided by 2, to replace every t in the equation by x over 2. When we do that, we get the following. So instead of y, we write what y is equal to, 1 quarter x squared minus x plus 1 equals 1 minus 4.9, and instead of t, we write x over 2, and of course, we need to square that. Notice that the 1 cancels out on both sides. That gets rid of the constant term, which makes it easier to solve the quadratic equation. 
And then when we combine everything on one side, we get 0 equals, moving this across, we get a positive x minus 0.25x squared, that's 1 quarter x squared, move to the right side, and then minus, and I need a calculator for that, so we have 4.9 divided by 2 squared, which is 4, gives us 1.225, a negative, 1.225x squared. Combining those two x squared terms, that gives us um, 0 is equal to x minus, that would be 475. So 1.475x squared, which finally means when we pull out an x, let me come up here, we're going to factor out an x, we get 0 equals x times 1 minus 1.475x. That gives us two solutions. We say that x equals 0, and that makes sense because it's on the incline right here when x equals 0. Or, we could say that 1 minus 1.475x equals 0, which means that x is equal to minus 1 divided by minus 1.475, which is 0 0.67. Eight, and of course that would be in meters so that would be the exposition where the object lands okay what do we do next well now we need also need to know the y position and to do that we can plug in this value for x in this equation so y is equal to 1 quarter times 0 0.678 squared minus 0 0.678 plus 1. And let's go ahead and find what that is equal to. So we square that amount, divided by 4, and then we add 1 to that, and subtract from that minus 0.678. And for the y value, y equals 0 0.437 meters. So those are the x and y coordinates of the location where the projectile will hit the slope here, which is in this case a parabolic curve. Now, for one more thing, if you want to know what the time, how long does it take to get there, then of course you plug in a value for x, you say that time is equal to 0 0.678 divided by 2, and so time is equal to, well that would be uh, 0 0.3 three nine seconds and I also have the time how long it takes for the projectile to reach that specific spot and that's how we do that